Okay, YouTube. Today we're going to look at the shocks that we're putting on the Black Widow Rock Bouncer. They are aluminum. They have aluminum shafts or steel shafts, aluminum housings. The bottom part right here is plastic, but the cap is aluminum. And what we're going to do is we're going to, when these were shipped, they were shipped with none or very little oil in them. So today we're going to put oil in these shocks. And remove this little bottom part here, take the spring off, and unscrew the cap. And inside the shock, yeah, there's very little oil. There's a little bit of oil, but it's really hard to see, but there is very little oil in these shocks. So today, I'm going to put in a little Axio 30 weight oil. And basically, what you do is you fill it up to the top, or just short of the top. And make sure that you don't have any bubbles. Raise the shaft, compress them, make sure there's no bubbles. It looks good. Let's see, and then place the cap back on. Tighten it down and make a good seal. Wipe any excess oil off. And yeah, they feel pretty good now. I kind of like that. Put the shock spring back on. And a little cap. That's really all there is to it. Now, there are different weight oils. Some people will tell you to use heavier weight, some use lighter weight. The only thing I don't like about these shocks is they're awful stiff. The spring is stiff, not the shocks, but the spring. And I'm just wondering if that's not going to cause me some bouncing problems. Of course, we are running a rock bouncer, but we don't want it bouncing. We want it. moving. We'll see what happens. We may change the spring weight or spring tension on these shocks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these shocks. Okay, that finishes up the oil part of the shocks. These shocks do have an adjustment on them. You can put a preload on them by spinning this little adjustment wheel. They're threaded. I like the looks of them. These are considered big bore shocks. And I notice a lot of rock bouncers do not have big bore shocks. I'm still learning about shock questions. Try asking Kelly a shark fact to learn more about 
Again, these shocks are adjustable here. You can see this little wheel. That means you can put preload on the shocks and you don't have to use spacers. They're big bore shocks. And I notice a lot of rock bouncers on YouTube, real rock bouncers, you do not use big bore shocks. So we're gonna try big bore shocks first. And we may have to switch to a smaller bore shock, maybe with a two-step spring. These are kind of two-step. They're weaker here and stronger there. And so the further they go, the stronger, it, more it takes to compress them. All right, if there are any questions, hit me up in the comments. These are again gonna go on the Black Widow Rock Bouncer. So we will end this video and put them on the Rock Bouncer. Y'all have a good day. Stay out of trouble.